Hello everyone, welcome to our cosmic voyage through the celestial realms of astrology. Today we are going to look into Jupiter and its impact in different houses. Um, Jupiter is a planet in our solar system of expansion, wisdom and abundance. Jupiter's influence in your astrological chart is like a magnifier amplifying the areas of life it touches with opportunities for growth and prosperity and how do we see the areas of life from different houses its energy encourages us to seek higher truth and broaden our horizons so let's dive in jupiter in first house jupiter in first house illuminates your personality um, it, it gives your personality the optimism and the confidence. If it's in the first house, it makes the person religious, donor, and faithful to the wife or the spouse and parents. Jupiter is the savior of marriage. If it's in the first house, it removes all the obstacles of the marriage. Um, if, if it's afflicted, the person will be egoistic and they will misuse their knowledge for wrong deeds. Um, but you, if, if it's like not afflicted and it's, a, it's in good power, it exudes, the person with Jupiter in first house exudes a magnetic charisma and their outlook on life is expansive and adventurous. Moving on to Jupiter in second house. Um, their approach to finances and material possession is generous and optimistic. They have a talent for attracting wealth and enjoy and they enjoy sharing their abundance with others. Um, it also encourages the person, like the person who has this uh, placement, um, it is advisable to build different avenues um, of income for building security and prosperity while finding joy in what you value most. The second house Jupiter will aspect 6th house, 8th house and 10th house. Hence it reduces enemy, gives parental wealth which is seen from the 8th house and growth of job and business which is seen from the 10th house. These people will be fond of food, they like sweets and juices, they'll be very soft-spoken, um, and they will be cultured and from a very good family background. Um, okay, moving on to the third, uh, Jupiter in third house. Here, this is the house of communication and Jupiter is expansive. So here, the person who has this placement, it expands their mind and communication skill. They will have a thirst for knowledge um, and talent for sharing ideas, making them a great conversationalist and lifelong learner. Um, their curiosity leads them to explore diverse subjects and forge meaningful connections through your words and thoughts. Um, rest you can read on the slide. Um, if the Jupiter is well placed, it gives natives the fruits easily. They get pleasure from traveling, particularly religious travels. Moving on, Jupiter in fourth house. This is one of the best positions for Jupiter as not only Jupiter gives the real happiness in life, the person also enjoys all the happiness. Um, their home is their sanctuary of comfort, expansion, of becoming, it becomes a hub of activity and joy for them. They get good home, cars, good family life. Um, and here it aspects 10th house of career. Um, so they, they do good deeds to make their living. Um, and they find profound fulfillment in nurturing roots and creating support, supportive environment for others um, as well as themselves. Okay, moving on to Jupiter in fifth house. 
Uh, fifth house is your Purvipunya. So what what you did in the past life. Here, the Jupiter position ensures that the native gets the good results, um, gets the results of all the good deeds that they did in the previous life. The native is well educated and has a very good decision making powers. The native has strong inclination towards spirituality and mantra sadhana. Um, afflicted, afflicted Jupiter here can give problems with child. Um, what else? They, the Jupiter's presence in this house sparks creativity and joy. You are drawn to expressive activities from arts to romance and you approach life with a playful and enthusiastic spirit your love for fun and adventure is infectious infectious and you thrive when engaging in activities that bring out like bring out the inner child in you okay moving on to jupiter in sixth house in sixth house jupiter enhances your daily routines your work life you find great satisfaction in service and often excel in roles that allow you to help serve and inspire others your positive attitude and dedication to wellness make you a beacon of optimism in your community and workplace however if the jupiter is afflicted it gives problems related to liver kidney um, etc since it aspects the 10th house it also gives a great career to the native um, and this it saves them from because jupiter is a protector and um, it amplifies wherever it is so if it's like in a favorable position and it's not afflicted it will save the native from all the enemies and controversies Jupiter in seventh house. This ha seventh house is a house of relationships and partnerships. Here, um, having Jupiter will make sure that your relationships and partnerships flourish under your expansive and optimistic approach. You attract enriching connections that broaden your horizons and bring mutual growth. You thrive in collaborating environment partnerships are good here business or personal um, it also makes their spouse uh, a, a person of a good dignity and character um, and it makes the person very intelligent and attractive um, the fortune increases after marriage the native will have a very strong public life and they can sometimes overlook their spouse um, it's a very good placement for partnership. Um, yeah, and if it's afflictive equally, if it's aff afflicted, then it can give problems in marriages and partnerships. Moving on to the eighth house, which is the house of transformation. Now, and transformation and shared resources. Here, Jupiter is here. That means you possess a profound understanding of life's mysteries and often seek growth through intense transformative experiences. This placement encourages you to go deeper into go deeper into mystical aspects of life and to harness your inner power for significant personal and financial growth. Um, they can it can even make a person stubborn and not usually liked by everyone okay moving on to jupiter in ninth house in the ninth house jupiter inspires a love for adventure higher learning and spiritual exploration you are a natural philosopher eager to expand your mind and understanding the broader truths of the universe Good placement here will make the person spiritual. He will have numerous properties and will be donating for religious cross courses. The native will be very intelligent, very a good communicator. And if you have this full uh, placement, you'll find fulfillment in exploring new horizons. 
whether through long distance travel, education, or deepening your spiritual beliefs. A Jupiter in 10th house. Jupiter in 10th house gives the person name, fame, and money in career. It amplifies their career ambitions and public image. They will have a drive to achieve success and often find opportunities for growth and recognition in their professional life. It gives good money, happiness, and less competition in career. Uh, they are the they are they're some of the people with good Jupiter placements are biggest consultants, um, and people seek solution from them. They are advisors, of people with this placement. Um, and the people who have this placement tend to have optimistic and expansive approach to the career and it helps them to rise to positions of authority and influence, often inspiring along others along the way. Jupiter in 11th house. Now the 11th house is the house of social networks um, and your net income. So here, they will have big social networks and aspirations are imbued with the spirit of expansion and generosity. They are drawn to groups and communities where they can share their vision and work towards common goals. They will have multiple sources of income. They may they become rich gradually, but they always become they <laughs> become rich at the end of the life for sure. Um, it gives the the education will be good and kids will serve the native till the end of his or her life lastly but not the least um, jupiter in 12th house this is not a very good placement for jupiter the native here aspires for sensual pleasures and gets angry easily um, it's um and it's definitely not a good position for kids uh, however, it brings a deep spiritual wisdom and a desire to explore the hidden aspects of life. These people will find joy in introspection, spiritual practices, and serving others behind the scene. This placement encourages you to delve into inner world and embrace the tranquility and enlightenment it offers. Um, afflicted Jupiter here can increase the expenses and money will go to waste, but good Jupiter here will decrease the expenses and makes the person spend on religious deeds. Yeah, that's all. That's it for Jupiter in all the 12 houses. Do let me know how you like this video. Please share your thoughts in the comments and tell me where your jupiter is placed and does does these predict prediction resonate with you or not thank you